this Back is what we got. Coming, coming, coming. Looking good, looking good. Coming off two, headed down the back. Looking good, looking good. Rock roll. And Daryl, a lot like, like the looks of that. A lot like Whoa, Jimmy John. Yeah, under you there. see the fire under yeah, the Yeah, that baby front. just, I think that baby just. Now that, <clears throat> there's no up. question, that's going to be terminal. In fact, the caution is out. A lot like Jimmy Johnson, he's been making single car runs. He's only run 11 laps. Remember, Hendrick had another engine failure last week in the 42 of Juan Pablo Montoya. Well, let's listen on board to Dale Jr. Ooh, man, that's a terrible sound. Broke motor. Yeah, 10-4, get low, the pack's coming there. Get on the apron if you can. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's all the fire come out from under, under the uh, under the car there. So that's definitely serious terminal. But you're right, Daryl. Uh, the, the Hendrick Engine Group, Jeff Andrews. I just go to Jenkins back. Scotty Maxim. They'll be scrambling because, to my knowledge, they have ten drivers that has Hendrick engines getting ready for the Daytona 500. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was conversing with crew chief Steve Latart, teammate Jeff Gordon, engine guru Scott Maxim. So now we're going to ask you the same thing. What did you tell them? Uh, well, you know, we just uh, broke a motor. Simple as that. Uh, they'll figure out what happened. I'm sure it's some logical explanation to what happened, but we'll just put a new one in it and start the back of the qualifier tomorrow and try to race up through there. I know this is just a part of racing, but when it's Daytona and everything's so finite and details matter, will you go to bed uh, a little worried tonight? No, it's just a part of racing. Thanks, Dale.